Hey, this is Sandy, and I am still working on this eagle picture. So I finished, this is, so this is part two of the video, and I'm just testing out videoing because I've never, I haven't really embroidered on YouTube before, so I'm just sharing with you what I'm learning on my machine as I continue to learn how it works. And I've done this eagle. I have another video that I did right before this one where I showed the initial stages of videoing and it has filled in the rest of the pieces of embroidery of the picture, parts of the picture. So now I'm doing the lettering and I had to pick the color. That's one part of doing this is knowing which colors to pick. And I thought, oh, the yellow would be really pretty. Then I thought the blue would be really pretty. So I'm going between the two and I think I'm going to go... You know, I've got the, the blue loaded, but I think I am going to change it to the yellow because now that I'm looking at it again, I really like It's kind of a, it's like the color of the beak. And I just didn't want it to be too bright. If it was for me, I'd just go with the yellow and not think about it. But this is for my husband. So I'm going to go ahead and thread it. My first video, I talked about how in when you're doing these embroidery designs, you have to, oops, wants me to look. It's, uh, it's actually threading the needle for me, so that's a nice thing that I love. And it went ahead and did that, and now I'm ready to go. So we shall see how this goes. Like I said, I did the initial design here and now it's doing the lettering live free because that's the words my husband wanted on the sweatshirt. I put some water soluble um, embroidery, I'm sorry, it's stabilizer. I have stabilizer on the back of this hoop and I also have stabilizer on the front. I do that when I know that I'm working on a stretch and there, if there's any possibility of that stitch. As you can see, it goes back and forth um, pretty fast. It can easily stretch fabric. So, let's see if I can get you in a little closer. I this little video um, camera holder is a little bit wobbly. I just thought I would share this part with you too. So I program the machine and I use this little pointer thing so I don't get my fingers sewn. Um, sometimes I have to use it to hold down the stabilizer. That's uh, something I also got at my favorite sewing store in Lake Villa, Illinois, the sewing stores. I also got this machine there. We sell all kinds of stuff. And I, uh, in my other video, I described that I have, I just started this, but I actually just started the video taping of sewing and embroidering. I have been sewing and embroidering my whole life. And this machine, I waited to get for 25 years. I had a baby lock machine. This is a baby lock Solaris Vision. I had a baby like Asante, and I did loads of embroidery on that one. And um, after 20 some years, 25, I said, I said it was time to finally get something new. And so that's what I did. And I really love this machine. Um, this is the. Uh, this is the. CD. Let me see if I can hold it steady. Well, this way it's the opposite. <laughs> I see. Um, see that picture there? That's the eagle that I did. And I found it on sale at that sewing store. It's very old, so I was really surprised that it would work. But it's working beautifully. It worked beautifully. Uh, let's see. I did another one on here. It also turned out really pretty. I'm trying to find it. I think I want to do this one here. This one here. I think that one would be pretty. 
but this is the one that I did on another t-shirt and it turned out really pretty so when I put the words in my machine well actually ask my husband what do you want it to say because I had some words chosen and he changed them to be what he wanted it to say so I went ahead and changed it and now this will say live free he just loves eagles and we love to visit my sister up in Tremplo, Wisconsin where they have lots of eagles we can watch them it's such a beautiful area to live so I'm just going to let you enjoy this stitching just as much as I do without me talking so much Show you the machine over here. I already deleted the eagle part of it because I had to reprogram the words since I had my words versus his was his words. <laughs> it's gotta be what they want, right? So I think I'm gonna go back a little bit. I'm practicing uh, using this. It's a pretty in inexpensive um, phone holder. So hopefully it's not shaking too much. And like I said, this is a Solaris Vision. It has quite a few uh, lettering type designs on it and embroidery designs. I'm slowly, I'm slowly using them. There's so much. What I really like is the camera. There's a camera feature on here that helps you to uh, make sure that things are lined up okay and if they're not okay there's a feature that will help you rotate it a little bit so that it does line up better so it's quite a big different it's quite different than the one that I had that I bought 25 years ago it's a lot different it's, like a, it's got Wi-Fi on it and so in this case with this CD and I put this in the comments. Oh, oops, sorry. I, it's an amazing design CD. I had to load the CD in an external um, CD drive. And then after it loaded, got going on the CD drive, then I used a key on my machine to look at the memory. Uh, and I was able to look at the folder on the CD and look at the designs that are on that, on this CD holder and pick the one I want. Once I pulled it into my machine, I was able to change the size, rotate it, uh, um, all kinds of things. You can just alter, you, you can't, you can't really alter the design itself, but you can change the size and the rotate, rotation where you want things to be and such. And so once I did that, I added the letters that I wanted to include on this lightweight sweatshirt and made sure everything looked good as far as threading and bobbin. Because actually, this is my third bobbin for this design and normally I will just go through one or two bobbins. This is my third one. So it is painting a lot. There's really, you know, like I said, it had, I can't remember what it had. It's in my first video. Um, but it was quite a few stitches, 50,000 or 46 or something like that. And so it is, as you can see, it's, it's really making wide stitches to make the letters so I'm hoping that you know I don't have to change the bobbin again but we'll see it's almost done it's got it's on the F and we just have three more letters and then we're done but like I said in my other video the next thing I want to do is machine couching and I'm going to use yarn and you can there's a foot for it there's a foot where you feed it through these thread guides for the yarn 
and you put the foot on and you set up the design in the machine uh, and then you just have to make sure that the yarn's feeding through because it's kind of like as it sews the design it's sewing it with thread I believe that's how it works the yarn feeds through but it's sewing the yarn down with thread and so that's what I'm hoping to do next on maybe a t-shirt for me I've been doing a lot of things for other people for Christmas and such so hopefully this next one will be for me like I said when this is done I have the water soluble stabilizer on the top so that my stitches don't sink, sink into the knit sweatshirt material when I'm done I'll, t I'll tear off that paper and then you can actually uh, use like a microfiber towel that's wet and wet the edges of any of that wa water soluble um, stabilizer that's left and then I'll probably iron it cut some, whatever threads need to be cut sometimes there's some stragglers that need to be cut off um, and I'll use a press cloth cloth and my iron from the back side because you shouldn't iron embroidery on top of the satin because you could you could melt things if you're not careful so I just try to use iron from the back side and then even if I have a really good press cloth I can iron from the front on top of the design and then when I wash the mesh, this t-shirt well actually when my husband washes it he'll just have to remember to turn it inside out I do that with all of my embroidered t-shirts the ones that I really like I don't have that many for myself I should really make more for me so uh, just a couple more minutes I think oh it says three more minutes so it's just gonna be stitching out and I just want to make sure I pull that away so it doesn't get caught in the stitching yeah sometimes I will trim the back side of the t-shirt you know just to tidy up the, the because this machine will actually cut the threads I've had other embroidery machines that where I've had to go back and cut between the letters and between all of the colors it used in the design it's not the case in this machine the Solaris Vision and like the Solaris 1 and 2 and some of the other baby lock machines automatically cut the thread this one is an electronic cutting tool. My baby lock Asante is that's like 25 years old. It's got um, automatic thread. No, it does. It does not have a thread cutter. It has an automatic threader, but it's only automatic to the point where I have to push a lever to get um, a mechanism to, to feed downwards toward the needle, and it threads that way. Whereas on this machine, there's just a button. It's so easy. It's, it's right here. So uh, you just push that button, make sure you're ready to thread. We only have one more letter left. Make sure you're, you've got your thread in the, the path, the thread path of the machine. Once you've done it a couple times, you're, it's really easy to thread this machine. Um, I use Floriani thread on this, which I also get all of that from my local thread shop, the Sewing Source in Lake Villa, Illinois. And um, they're pretty much my go-to place because I'm trying to support a local small business. They sell this machine, they sell other machines there. They sell Janome's, which I think they have a really great machine there. That's by Janome, but I figured this machine is going to take me a long time to learn and play around with. So maybe if I win the lottery someday. Maybe then. We're almost done with this letter. And then I can show you how I rip off the stabilizer and give you the full picture of what this will look like when it's done. Oh, I can tell you that when I bought the machine, 
I got this uh, Baby Lock magnetic hoop. So you can use it for all kinds of things. I'm using it for a t-shirt, but I'm, you can use it for all kinds of things. Quilting and um, if you wanted a small multiple patterns on something, you could put them all in one big hoop because this is the 10 by 10. Okay, it says finished embroidery. So then, this stuff is kind of old, but I figured it does the job. And I'm just using it up. So, you know, I'll probably have to use a little bit of water in between these letters. But this is... This is the t-shirt. Sweatshirt for my husband. I'm not going to show you all the rest. I just hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a nice and safe evening. Thank you.